Fee, congratulations on becoming a mom. Thank you. It's really exciting to see you back around your teammates with this sweet little baby. But before we get into talking about your daughter, Mila, let's take it back before she was born. And I'm just kind of curious about, had you always wanted to be a mom? I have always wanted to be a mom. I've always loved kids. My whole family loves kids. My dad and brother, too, are obsessed with babies. We all are. And my parents had both me and my brother young, so I always wanted kids really young. And then that age came, I was like, maybe I could hold off. <laughs> But, so having Mila was just like a dream and I've loved every second of it. I can't stand to be away from her, honestly. <laughs> I'm obsessed with her. Her face just lights up with anything and she's just all smiles and giggling all the time. It's just so fun. So in those first conversations of finding out when you were pregnant, was one of the, maybe the second thought of, oh my gosh, how is that gonna impact me as a player and mm -hmm. um, will I be able to play? Definitely, because basketball has been you know, my main focus for so long, I definitely obviously thought about what's that gonna look like. I called Cheryl the next day because I knew she was gonna have to start planning. I knew she was gonna have to start looking at what the season would look like. They've been great with everything because I probably wasn't gonna be able to play and if I did, it wasn't gonna be you know, my top self. So what does go into the mind of a professional athlete? Because I think that your profession is so rare mm -hmm. and so much of it relies on your body and being physical and being able to do the work you need to do. So is there some angst and anxiety around that? So funny enough, when I was pregnant, no, because I was like, I'm gonna work out, I'm an athlete, I'm just gonna pop her out and it'll be fine. I was delusional. That's not what happened at all. So this is definitely the hardest thing my body's ever had to go through and the longest rehab that I've had. I'm still going through rehab, you know, eight months later to get my body back to where it was. Let's just talk a little bit about after Mila has arrived and setting basketball aside, what were some of those first moments and the first couple of weeks of having this brand new baby? Mm. Um, fear. <laughs> I really had no idea what I was doing. So just kind of going day to day, like, is she sleeping too much? Is she not sleeping enough? So it's just a constant state of what's happening. Plus, you know, you're sleep deprived, so that doesn't help. And so those first couple weeks are really a blur, honestly. I didn't get a lot of sleep. Yeah. yeah. But um, when I look back at the pictures and videos, it, you know, it jogged your memory. It's just, you see how little she is and like the process of creating a human and then watching them grow. And it happens so fast when they're a baby. It's, I mean, it's crazy. And a significant roster update tonight for the Lynx. In the starting five will be Nafisa Collier, activated for the first time this season. Last year when you came back after having me love, I know your big goal was to get back on that court again with Sylvia Fowles. You accomplished that goal. Tell us what that meant to you to do that. It meant so much just because Sylvia's given me so much in my time here and she's been you know, she's the first person that brought me under her wing when I came to Minnesota, and she's such a prolific player. She's gonna be in the Hall of Fame, and to have someone of that caliber kind of bring you in was just, it was really special. And after that, I just saw what a wonderful person she was. I don't think there's a person who hasn't met Sylvia that doesn't like her, you know? I really just wanted to be with her for her last season, and I'm really thankful that I got to play, but even just being around her in this environment again was awesome. So I'm really happy that I was able to come back. So I think it was like 74 days later that yeah. after you had the baby bed, you came back, mm -hmm. which is, is pretty remarkable. Even just thinking about trying to get back in shape after having a baby sounds like a lot to me. Mm -hmm. When you look back at it now, does it surprise you? Can you believe that you were able to do that? I think it's one of the things like it's better I didn't know because again, I just thought it would be, my body would snap back. I'd, you know, I wouldn't be that out of shape. It just wasn't the case. It was so hard. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. I wouldn't have rushed back even this time if it weren't for Sylvia. So I think next time, you know, I definitely am not gonna do that same thing. But I'm happy things turned out the way that they did. I'm still happy that I got to be with Sylvia and the team this last year. So it was definitely hard, but it was worth it. Now that you're, you're working out, you're getting ready for this upcoming season, what are some of the goals you have for yourself as you move into this new season? Well, I'm really excited because it's been several years since I've been able to actually like work on my game. You know, I was pregnant last year, the year before I was in France, right until games, the year before it's COVID. So I'm really excited to be able to actually, you know, work on things for an extended period of time. Like I want to get better with threes, like doing them off the move, my ball handling, just things I see in my game that I want to improve on. And I have, you know, the time to do it now.
As you are now a mother, have you thought about like how you want to show up in that role and, and being a professional athlete, knowing that now Mila's going to be watching you and mm -hmm. kind of what that means for you? Yeah. When I think about the future, like what kind of mother do I want to be, what values do I want to instill in her, and bringing her around the team I think is definitely going to be really instrumental in that because she's going to have so many aunts around her and so many people loving her and she's going to watch me, how hard I'm working for this career and how I'm I'm putting the family first, but I'm also doing things for me and how you can have a career and raise a family. So I feel like we're going to grow up together in this sense, too. Like She's going to grow up watching me play, and I'm going to grow up as a person and, you know, as a leader, as a mother, as just everything in this process. That's excellent. Well, congratulations. Um, it's going to be fun watching you be a mom, and it's going to be fun watching little Mila. It's absolutely adorable. Thank you. So cute. Thank you so much Thank for you. chatting with us.